Hey, welcome back to another in our series of ASP.NET Web Development. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the challenge of turning a table into a grid format as shown here. So the current state of my application shows that I have four users in a table. What I would like to do is transform this table into a grid. So the grid's going to look like this. It's going to have the same information as you can see the text is here, but we're going to insert a filler picture or a dummy picture and we're going to format it so it's a flexible grid uh, layout. So rather than take you through every step, I'm going to show you some resources and then you're going to figure out the steps. First of all, we're going to go to the site here called Cards. And then we're going to look at the Flexbox item. And then we're going to look at a way to put a picture in automatically through this website here. So I believe you would pronounce this website as Pravatar, which is a way to get uh, free photos without doing much work. So to find out how to do these cards, I'm going to the Bootstrap website. I'm clicking on Documentation. I'm going to Components. And then I'm looking for the word card. So what is a card? A card looks like this. A card is a div tag. As you can see from down here, it's a div with a class card. It's intended to hold a picture, a title, some text, and a button. And all of the code is here. So we're simply going to copy and paste what the card offers. However, before you start copying this one, let's go to see if there's other styles. Yes, there are actually. You can change different styles of your text. If you don't want the button, they give you an example with no button. They can show you things that are what they call the kitchen sink, which includes all of the items, an image, title, text, a list, and a couple of links at the bottom. So this is a more complex card. Here's one without a photo. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to go with the very first example that they provide here and uh, copy this and put it into my code. Now, I'm not going to actually show you this. I'm going to let you do it. So think of each one of these guys as a item in the row. So, so let's come back into our code and see where we would put that card. I'm going into the test area. And uh, I think we had here where there was a table. So this is the section that we're going to attack here in our code. We're going to replace the table item and all the rows. We're still probably going to need the for each loop, and we're still probably going to show name in email and phone number. However, we're not going to use the table. So back to the documentation, each row item is going to be replaced with this guy. And I'll leave it to you to figure out the details. The second tool that you're probably going to want to use is called Flexbox. So let's go see what Flexbox says here. So let's go into Utilities, and I'm looking for Flex right here, Flex. Okay, so what is Flex? Flex is a way to manage your layout. So you can see it's for arranging boxes. Well, that's perfect because what we're trying to do is arrange boxes of people's cards. And so you can arrange them to be in a grid format. You can justify them to the right and to the left. Now, W3Schools has done a masterful job of showing us what Flexbox can do. And so I'm at their page here called S uh, CSS uh, Flexbox. So down below, you can see what Flexbox is up to. You can have items that are arranged like this. You can arrange them vertically. Flexbox allows you to wrap items. You can center things with Flexbox. You can have different uh, alignment styles. So let's see what the essentials are. Let's go back to the beginning. So what does Flexbox do? Let's go ahead and click Try It Yourself. So you can see that we have eight div items. Right here is the very simple code. We have a flex container, it says, with div one through eight. So each div item in the flex container has a blue background and it has a specific width and height. All right, so what happens if I collapse the, uh, the size of the browser? Well, you can see that each box shrinks. Well, it says here, try to resize the window. A container with the uh, CSS tag called flex wrap no wrap will never wrap its items. 
Well, let's go look and see what they're talking about over here. So we have the item called no wrap. Well, let's change that to the word wrap. And I'm going to click the green button to refresh it. You can see now that wrapping is going to preserve the size of each box, but will automatically start a new row if there is not enough space. And so a web browser and a, a mobile phone can both show a set of cards. So you're going to need this item here called a flex container that has these two properties. These are the two essential properties, display colon flex and display wrap. That has to go in the area around all of your cards. So what we're going for then is a set of cards that's going to look like this here. So you can see that I set a div container and the cards are wrapping. So they don't shrink in, in their size, but they just start a new row. The last item that we need to know about is how to get these pictures. And so Prevatar is the website we're going to. So here is the very simple website for Prevatar.cc. They just show you the code that you need to insert. So if you have a item in your page that needs a picture, an image tag, you can use this URL. And you notice the size example here is 300. Let's click the C example. So I put a 300 here and I got a 300. Let's make it a 50. And you can now see that I have a 50. Now, every time I show a photo, it's randomized. So I refresh and I get somebody else. So there's the guy with the camera. However, if I want to have the same picture show up every time, I can put a question mark IMG equals and then put a number. So let's put in 55 and there's the guy with the violin. So let's refresh again and let's see what comes up next. Looks like the same guy. So every time 55 comes up, it's the violin man. Well, let's go see what 54 looks like. And so 54 is gonna be this uh, shadowy looking figure. So let's go back and try 55 again and there's the violin. So if you want to have a specific picture number, you can use your URL with a number in it like this. So where are you gonna put that photo? Well, look right here. In a card, it is expecting to have a tag for image, and source is now listed as three dots. In other words, you have to change that. So that'd be a perfect place to put your Prevatar URL. Okay, so now you've got all the pieces that you need to complete this challenge. So your challenge is to use the card component with a flex box and a Prevatar picture, and you'll have something that looks like this below here. So there is your challenge to complete today.